I think I just really enjoy making things. I've always, I've always made things, whether it be clothing or bags or pots or whatever it happens to be. We're predominantly known for the bags that we do. Uh, we do a lot of um, everyday bags. So one of the big things we're known for is uh, developing a hand wax treatment, like a hand wax canvas. So the fiber, it's, uh, it's both water and soil resistant. Everything that I do make, I, uh, I develop from the beginning. So uh, it's not only just the pattern drafting and the design of it, but it really is a development of the process. And I think that's something that really needs to be done entirely in-house in order to have a well-designed product. I think I always knew that I was going to make a go of it. I don't think I ever started out. It wasn't, it wasn't one of those things where I started out, I made a bag, it was a hobby, my friend liked it. It wasn't anything like that. It was literally, I, when I first started, I knew that I, I had started it with the intent of being able to really develop a studio where I could develop the work that I wanted to develop. And it just so happened that the medium that I picked in this instance was textiles. I just want to craft all the things in my life is essentially what it is, yeah. I like the idea of being able to um, develop things that, you know, just create a beautiful life, really. So when we're working on a leather bag, what we do uh, initially is uh, the leather is all hand cut. We, ha we can't use a machine to cut it like when we uh, typically work in uh, textile based bags. Uh, what we have to do is mark each pattern on the skin based on where there are flaws in the skin and what the best, uh, the, the best part of the skin is to use. And then each piece is traced and then hand cut. Uh, after that, what we'll end up working on typically is uh, the cutting of the linings, and that's all fabricated on uh, a machine. So we'll, we'll sew up all the linings and put in all the pockets and that kind of thing as well. And then uh, a lot of the handles on the leather bags are all hand sewn in. So each piece is individually um, sewn in by hand just for durability, just to make sure that obviously your bag doesn't fall apart when you're holding a lot of weight. And then the bag gets sewn together. I think a lot of the times what speaks to people about the bags that we do here is, is that they're not castaway items. So I personally am not a consumer. I don't shop. I like to make what it is that I use. I don't have multiple handbags, although people do think I do. I don't. I'm just like, I'm a one bag kind of person and I really, you know, I, don't, I just don't own a lot of things and I think that what we do here is really a strong reflection of how it is that I feel about consumption. Annie, why am I passionate about handmade goods, dude? Don't laugh. Give me an answer. See, because then I guess the obvious answer to that really would be like the idea of having artisanal crafts around and yada 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 compelling, you know, old skills forward and blah blah. But I kind of think that's all pukey, like. I don't even know if I think that that's what it actually means to me, yeah. like, or, or why that's important, because I don't necessarily believe, like, I don't, I don't look at handmade goods as something that's, you know, the value of handmade goods is, is only because it's handmade. I believe that handmade, like, I believe that uh, in order to acquire certain aesthetics, handmade, you have to do it handmade. You can't do everything on a machine because you, there's, there's just, like, there's certain technical things that just can't be done on a machine. And uh, there's certain applications, like the handles, the way that we set in our handles here, it, it, it does require, like you can't do it on a machine. Um, so it's not so much that it's, it's like this artisanal, old school thing for me. It, it, it really is about how I see my work best expressed. And I don't, I don't want to speak to why handcraft is important to anybody else outside of why it's important to me. I believe, you know, I believe that it's, there's no other way to obtain the aesthetic that I want to convey and express in my work.